All right, so in this video, we are going to go over how to easily, I think it's easy, I think you will too, hopefully agree, uh, call an API to get the current price of Shiba Inu. And I'm doing this because it's one of the hottest cryptocurrencies right now. I see a lot of stuff about it. And we've done this in the past with Bitcoin. I said, why not do Shiba Inu? I also plan to do Ethereum in the future. But I, here's the thing, once you see it once, I think you'll understand how to do it with any cryptocurrency. So hopefully once you go through this uh, with me and uh, we do it together, you can say, oh, I want to also do this with Ethereum and enter the name of any cryptocurrency that you can find on CoinMarketCap and do the same with this. And if you like this kind of stuff, I do stuff like this, just different things in programming as I find out and as I think of you know, neat video ideas um, and how-tos and all this good stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you do enjoy it that way. Uh, you can hopefully continuously learn in the future. My favorite API for calling the price of any cryptocurrency right now is the CoinMarketCap API. And if you haven't already, just go to coinmarketcap.com slash API. You can create a free account. This will allow you, let's go ahead and take a look. Once you sign in, you'll see this page right here, but this will allow you to call the API 300 oops didn't mean to click that 333 times a day this is with the free plan or 10,000 a month if you do want to upgrade I think the next level is like ten dollars a month but but if you're just playing around then this should be just plenty for you and what I'm actually going to do I'm gonna open notepad real quick and I'm going to copy my API key now don't worry uh, even though I showed this to you I'm going to after I film this video, regenerate my key, so my key will be totally different. You can try this if you want, but it won't work for you because I'll just regenerate it after this video. But I'm just keeping it handy because when I flip around different pages, um, I'll have it right here to use. So I'll go ahead and click this API documentation. And I guess to preface this, one of the things you do need to do is pip install requests if you haven't already. So we are going to use the request module, and now I'm just going to expand this Python and simply copy and paste this short little tidbit. We'll talk about some things. We'll change up a little bit of things in this, uh, this demo, I guess, but this will do exactly what we need to. So I'm gonna copy this whole piece and paste it here in VS Code, and let's just go over some pieces of it. So here are the parameters. What it's doing is it's looking at the top cryptocurrency by market capitalization, and that's going to be Bitcoin, and then it's going to limit itself at the 5,000th. So when we call this API, this V1 cryptocurrency slash listing slash latest, it's going to give us the top 5,000 cryptocurrencies by market cap, and we're converting it to USD, US dollar, which for me, that's what I'm going to use, but if you're from a different region, you might want to change that. The headers, we're going to keep the accepts application slash JSON, but this part right here is where you're going to paste your own API key. So like I did, I uh, copied it and put it here in Notepad. I'm just going to replace this piece with my own API key, and you'll do the same. Copy it from uh, the CoinMarketCap API dashboard there, and then paste it right here. So what they're doing is they're putting the code they're going to run in TriBlock, which is smart, you know, if something happens and maybe it times out, maybe your network blips for a second, uh, an exception occurs, then you can print out the exception and see what the error is. But the part that we really care about is right here where they print the data. In fact, we don't want to see all of this data because there is a lot of it in this API call. And really, if we look at CoinMarketCap, Shiba Inu is in the top 100 at least, right? Right now it's top 10. So, you know, if you want to say, I believe Shiba Inu will always be in the top 100, uh, maybe you can just change this to 100 and you only get the top 100 back instead of the top 5,000. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through uh, the JSON response and look for Shiba Inu and then extract the price. But if it's looping through 5,000 versus 100, you know, that's going to take up a little bit more time. So that's why I change it to 100, just save some time, I guess. But we're not going to print all of this out. Um, this piece right here is what I'm going to take out. And then let's go ahead and also look, what is the format of the JSON? Because that's important. We need to know 
you know, how we're expecting the result to be and then extracting from that JSON what we really care about. So what I'm going to do is click on this cryptocurrency tab here on the left and then I'm going to listings slash latest. And here it gives you an example since this is the API endpoint that we're going to use, it gives you an example of what the output is expected to be. So we see in this JSON object, the first property is data and data holds a list or an array of all of the cryptocurrencies that are returned. So we can see the first one has name and symbol for Bitcoin. Um, and then a little bit farther, we can see the quote and US dollar and then price, which is ultimately what we want. And you can see this was a long time ago because the price was nine grand. Wouldn't that be nice? So what I want to do is I want to get this data piece, this array, and I'm going to loop through each object in this array and say, is the symbol SHIB, S-H-I-B, because that is the symbol for Shiba Inu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for D, you can make up any arbitrary name in this for loop, and data, and then we want the data piece of the JSON, right? We want to use, we want the value of the data property. And then we say if D, and I think it was a uh, symbol, am I right by saying that? Symbol, yep, is equal to sheep all in uppercase. Let's just test it and print the name. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this, pi test pi, we can see that it brings back the name Shiba Inu, which means it did in fact find the right cryptocurrency in that array. But we don't care about the name. We know what the name is. We are here for the price. So instead of name, let's go ahead and get quote. We can see quote has a value of another JSON object and inside of that's USD. And then it's a value of another <laughs> JSON object. And then price is what we ultimately care about. So go back and instead of name, it's going to be quote. And then another square brace, USD all capitalized. And then price, I believe. And we'll find out if that's true here in a second. And just because of the nature of Shiba Inu's price, you know, it's 0.00006678 per Shiba Inu, we are going to get it in a format like this. Okay, so I was doing some research on how do I change it from that scientific notation to the one that we're all familiar looking at. So the value for price that we got from the JSON, I converted it to a float and I set price, this variable, equal to that. And then what I ended up doing is using the format function and I found if you format it with the second parameter being this string of .8f, it turns it into the number that you're probably used to seeing for the price of Shiba Inu. So that's how you can format it that way and hopefully that answers all of your questions with uh, how do I go ahead and call an API to get the price of Shiba Inu. So yeah, if you like this, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hope to see you guys again in the future. And as always, take care.